Hey, it's Miss Carpenter, and I'm here to go over your MSIP inquiry questions lesson for today. Now, taking a topic and turning it into a question is a really good way to give your MSIP direction and focus. I know that some of you I've already discussed some possible topics with, and some of you have already started research on one particular topic. Even though that is the case, I'd still like you to complete this lesson. And the reason is, is because that sometimes when you start getting into research, you may find that there's not enough there, there's not enough available to you, or you may find that you really change your mind and you don't want to do it anymore and you want to try something else. By completing this assignment, you will ensure that you have several ideas and that you have them in one place. So let me just go ahead and go over this with you. Okay, so you are going to be picking four different topics for this lesson. And then next week we will conference about it, okay? So if you still are finding that you're stuck and you don't know which way to go, I mean, it's ELA, right? There's, uh, you can pretty much choose from anything and that can be daunting. Take a look at the passion slide that was shared with you. Take a look at the Northside databases that we had a lesson over just last week and um, maybe that will help you find something, okay? Let me know if you need help with that. Okay, so it's not just any old question, like I'm gonna take climate change. What is climate change? That's very thin, it can be answered very easily. I, it'll be my first search result when I type it into Google. Um, not much thinking and not much inquiry involved there. So how about a fat question? One that's harder to answer. It has depth. You need to do research. You need some background knowledge to help answer it. It might not be easily Googleable. That's kind of hard to say. Um, you might really have to um, look in different places to form your own answer on it. Here are some question starters for you for thick questions. What is the influence? What is the relationship? What is the result? What is the cause? What is the effect? How can you change or modify? Okay. So he, here are slides for each four topics. I went ahead and filled out one to show you taking the topic of climate change. List everything that you know about the topic. Um, I listed what I knew. It's getting warmer, storms are more active, there's been more hurricanes, more fires, more floods, summer's lasting longer, and I know that fossil fuels are contributing to it. What I want to know, why aren't laws being passed to slow down climate change? And more on that, why are laws being less restricted to um, burn fossil fuels and you know, environmental laws that are starting to go away? Why did we leave the Paris Agreement? That's part of it. How much do we need to reduce emissions to make a difference? And I like how I spelled difference there. Ha ha ha. Um, why do certain people ignore the science? That's something I just want to know because I just don't get it. And so I took what I knew, what I want to know, and I synthesized it into a question that cannot be easily Googled. All right. I would have to do research on this. What steps does the United States need to make and how quickly? in order to slow down the effects of climate change, or is it too late? I'm not gonna be able to find that in one spot and I'm gonna need that from various sources. So you're gonna do this process for four different topics. And remember, you've got your uh, question starters right here. And then you're gonna rank your inquiry questions from one, two, and three, and type it there, and that's it. So um, please let me know if you have any questions and have fun exploring. Bye-bye.